always a treat to see a daytime ball game here Fenway Park in Boston Mass. It'll be Diamond Dynasty action this evening between the Chicago Cubs and the Pirates. We've got baseball on the show and, now, and it's coming up next. 2021. Now into the box Nico Horner and we are set for baseball here this Big evening. Tonight for the Cubs. The second first baseball. pitch hack in here Nico and that's the first strike. First pitch. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0 and 2. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. Jake Marisnik is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0 and 1. Way inside with that one. A pretty easy take there. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. Swung underneath that pitch, so he was either trying to elevate the ball or he was expecting a pitch to be a sinker and drop more than it did. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Out in front here is this one scorched foul to the left. Hey, when you're featuring a mid 90s fastball like this pitcher, attack with that pitch. Get ahead, get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off speed pitches later in the game. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Just underway here at Fenway Park. Here's a chopper left side of the infield. Throw cleanly into first and that ends the inning. The speedy Trey Turner digs in now. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Not shortstop. Now the pitch. Hit in the air to left. Peterson has a read on it, and that's the first out of the inning. No one on with one down, and that will bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. And he popped him up. Baez into foul territory, and no one can get there. It's a foul ball. Filed off wide at first, but boy, that had some zip on it. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. Chopper down the third baseline. I'll tell you right now, he let go of that one and he wanted to pull it back. That was a hanger, bad spot over the harder plate. He's lucky. He's lucky that's getting sent back to him. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Striding in that is hurt. Ronald Acuna. Right no one aboard for Ronald. him, and two Acuna. gone here in the first. Junior. Oh, had him chopping at that one. It's nothing and one. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. Now here it comes. Boy, he sped him up in this at bat. Now it's time for the changeup. This guy's got a good one, and he hasn't thrown it yet in this at bat. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. And the throw to first will indeed get him. It's a strikeout score at two to three, and the inning is over. All set for the start of the inning. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Javier Baez. And that's swung on and missed for strike one. No offer at that point. It's a cold strike. Out in front of that one, but he stays alive and will do it again on 0 2. That's a great sinker right there. These batters are going to have to bear down because if he's got that good pitch working, it's going to be a long game. They might have to sit off speed. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Javier Baez goes down to become the first out here in the second inning, and he fouls this one off. Ball and two strikes to Anthony Rizzo. He got a swing and a miss on that last pitch, but that's not the location he wants to live in against a hitter of this quality. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Wilson Contreras is next as he finds himself behind 0-1. Behind 0-2 now. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Again, he sends it out of play. Can't get him to chase. It's one and two. And he struck him out. So a fine inning here as he strikes out this side in order. 
So here's the cleanup hitter, Mike Trout. He set to lead off the home half of the second. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. So now into the box is JT Realmuto. JT. First pitch on the way. Not his best effort that time. It's strike one. You know what that ugly swing tells me right there? This guy's got his good slider work, and that thing's got depth and bite. After it is Marisnik. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. At the plate now is, is Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. And here's a slider that's nowhere close, and it's 1-0. High in the air down the right field line. And foul. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. He's through first and hustling for second. And he is in the second with a two out double. Batting seven. The left fielder. Tommy. Into the box, Tommy Pham, as he'll swing and pop this one up near second base. Horner makes the play, and the inning comes to a close. So next to bat will be the left-handed hitting Jock Peterson, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Oswald has both great strikeout stuff and exceptional command on the mound to go with it. A rare combination, but one that makes him one of the best in our sport. Matty V, you talked about it. He doesn't walk a whole lot of guys. Well, if you don't walk a lot of guys, that means you have to throw the ball in the strike zone. And when you do with great stuff like this guy has, he racks up the strikeouts. There aren't a lot of guys that get strikeouts by throwing the ball in the strike zone. This is one of the few that does it. First offering on its way. Third inning, no score to this point. He comes up empty that time as he's underneath it 0 and 2. Man, this pitcher is on right. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Bottom of the third now, and set to go is the third baseman, Justin Turner. The third baseman, Justin. Now here's the first offering. Turner. 0 and 1 the count. Now here's the pitch. And now a ball lifted into the air out towards center field. Under it is Marisnik, one away. So next to bat will be Roy Oswald. No and now a pitch on the way. Oswald. Popped up. There to take it is Rizzo, and there are two away now. So the lineup flips no over and digging seven. in. Trey Turner Shortstop. flew out last time up. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. And he lays off for ball one. Good pitch there on 0-2. Breaking ball out of the zone away. Might set up another breaking ball to see if he'll chase this one. Well, the play's been made. And now in the box, Nico Horner. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Here's Oswalt back to work now as he gets ahead of the leadoff man. No balls in a strike. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. The center fielder, Jake. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some. Oh, terrible bounce, and it goes right by him. He hit the corner and tries for third. And he will make it all the way to third now as that mistake proves a costly one indeed. Here's Chris Bryant now. The 1 0 home. A swing and a miss, strike one. This is a situation where the offensive player just needs to do his job. 
take inventory, infield back, get you a ground ball somewhere in the infield, preferably off the corners, and get your team to lead. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Full count now, three and two. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Catch made here in medium deep right center, and the runner's breaking from third. And he will score on the sacrifice fly as he's in with our first tally of the ball game. The shortstop. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. Time to be aggressive with these hitters now. After that sack fly, now it's time to try to get out of this inning with only one run scored. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And up steps the big bat of Fernando Tatis Jr. The second baseman. To third. Bryant's got it. Throw on the first in time, one away. So the next to bat will be Ronald Acuna. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And now the first pitch. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Mariznik going back on the warning track. He makes the catch. Here's the center fielder Mike Trout. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0 and 2. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. He'll start things out here against Royals Waltz. High and tight here to begin the inning. It's ball one. One and one, the count of the Cubs' first baseman. One and two now as that one's fouled off. No offer at that one, and the count moves to two and two now on the Cub first baseman. Just got a piece to the right side. Two, two pitches fouled away. Two balls and two strikes to Rizzo. And he rings up another one. Make it nine strikeouts for him in the game. Up next to the Cubs. The Wilson Contreras is in for the second time here as he looks at a ball high 1 and 0. Hit on the ground to third. Turner has it. On to first and it's a good start to the inning for Oswalt here as there are two gone. So two out nobody on and in steps a former World Series hero the outfielder Jock Peterson no balls in one strike fouled away just one hit apiece for both of these clubs and he will strike him out 10 now in the ball game and the inning is over set now for the bottom of the fifth and next will be the speedy catcher JT Realmuto. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. High and deep to straightaway right. A ball that's carrying. But it's over his head and it hops the wall for a ground rule double. The first baseman. At the plate now, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And a relay to the plate. And this will not be close and the run will score easily. Now back, the left fielder, Tommy. To the plate now, Tommy hey. Pham. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. He popped out in his first trip. Here's the 0-1. Oh, and this at-bat is quickly moving from bad to worse. It's 0-2 now. Still no balls and two strikes. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. Pitch is way outside, and he can't even get a glove on it. And he'll rein it in as the count moves to one and two. 
Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Swung on in the dirt, and that's a strikeout. In time as he just gets the tag down. Now to the plate. Here is Justin Turner. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Turner. He swings and sends it in the air to right center field. Right fielder is on the run. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. New inning set to get underway, and standing in the outfielder, Patrick Wisdom. Out in front of it, strike one. The wind up, and the 0 1. And he popped him up, Guerrero, in foul ground. And no one will track it down. Here's Oswalt now on 0 and 2. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ballgame. The bat. Albert Ozale will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Strike two. Man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. Uh, and he's just rolling right now, and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ballgame. Nico Horner is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. One run, just one hit. No errors so far for the Cubbies. Stays alive, still 0-2. He's got another one. 13 strikeouts now, and the inning is over. Stepping up is Roy Oswalt. He popped out in his first trip. Yeah, it didn't look good right there. Just out in front. You know, sometimes when a pitcher has great arm action, you're going to get that. You're trying so hard to catch up to the high velocity. If he shows that great arm action and pulls the string on you, sometimes a pop-up is going to be the result. First pitch coming. Here it is. Trey Turner is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. Now you could just see this guy out on the mound right here. Just the body language. He knows he's on top of his game. Executing a nasty slide. And a great diving effort there, but it'll just tip off his glove, and it's a base hit. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Now that the second baseman. Up next is Fernando Tatis Jr. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. Swung on and hammered. No doubt about this one. Watch it fly. Gone over the monster and out onto Lansdowne Street. And here's Ronald Acuna Jr. now. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Chopped to third. Bryant is up with it. And the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he's safe at first. So it's a runner at first as a result of the throwing error. And next will be a speed thread in the form of outfielder Mike Trout. First pitch of the A.B. now. Good speed at first and good speed with a guy at the dish. Going to be tough to double up these guys. If you're an infielder, got to get rid of it quick. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. So it's a tight spot here. First and second. One man out. And that brings up JT Rilmuto. From the stretch. High in the air and deep to left center field. Back goes Peterson. And it's gone into the monster seats. Jonathan Holder, a six foot two inch right hander, jogs in to take over on the mound. Number 52, Jonathan Holder. Standing in now, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. as he swings and grounds it toward the hole. And there are two away now. Now, with the plate is Tommy Pham, 0 for 2 for him to this point. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. He swings and grounds it to short. Throw in time for the third out, but it certainly took a while as the inning is finally over. 
seventh inning ready to roll. And at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Jake Marisnik. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Wow, he's cruising right now out there. Four straight punch outs and working on number five. One ball and two strikes to count. Still one and two. Into the windup and the pitch. Oh man, that's a frustrating one as a hitter. That pitcher missed right there. He did not want to hang that breaking ball with two strikes and you foul it away. You have to regroup. You're not seeing that again. So he sets him down swinging. Jake Marisnik is retired to start out the seventh. Not quite out of here as it's off the monster. Here's Javier Baez as he will take a look at strike one on a fastball right down the pipe. Gets the fastball by him here and he's in control 0 and 2. Oh, this is what you get fired up for right here. Hard fastball against a power hitter. I know he was late right there, but if he comes back, this one might not come back. Fouled off. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. He got a mistake right there, but missed it. Can't foul that pitch off in a big spot. 0-2 count. Heater caught too much of the zone. Still no balls and two strikes. Did well just to make contact there as he spoils off a good changeup. He hasn't thrown that pitch. Uh, we'll leave it right there as he strikes out in that. Last half of the seventh here, and digging in is the big time power threat, Justin Turner. First delivery to him. Takes this the other way to right, and that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. Now batting, the pitcher, Roy Oswald. So now to the plate, Roy Oswald. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Lifts it into the air to shallow center. And he reaches up to track this one down for the first out, and he had to go a long way to get to that ball. The batter number seven. Here now is Trey Turner, who came across to score after doubling in his last at bat. Yeah, give me a repeat performance of that last double. With a man on first right now, let him run, get you a ribby. As he'll cut on and miss it, a good slider at the knees for strike one. Hey, that's a huge set to tone pitch right there. To a great hitter, you do not want to fall behind 1 0 and have him sitting all over a fastball or guessing what you throw next. You get ahead 0 1, and now the count's in your favor, and you and your catcher can start doing some things. He's ready. Here's the 0 2 pitch. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. And that will bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. He went deep for a two run homer in his previous at bat. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Why did he get the front door curveball on the inside corner there, but it backed up a little and stayed off the corner? Can't get around quick enough, and that'll move the count to one and one. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off speed pitch, wanted to stay back a little bit too long. Now the one and one pitch. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. Turner leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. And oh, this one's by him to the backstop. The 2 2 pitch. Swung on and hit deep to left center. Marisnik going back, and it's off the green monster. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. Now that right fielder, Votto Acuna Jr. Acuna digs in now as he puts it on the ground to third. Going to be a tough play, and the two out threat won't pay off. The inning is over. 
ready to begin the eighth and Wilson Contreras digs in at the plate. Hey this is where you go up there and you just focus on doing your job. Turn the scoreboard off in your head. I know you're down a lot but you have to have one quality at bat followed by another quality at bat. Don't give any outs away. No A.B.'s go unnoticed right here. I just think after seeing both those pitches right there 96 you have to be on the fastball you're not going to catch up if you're sitting off speed that fastball is going to blow right by you. John Peterson is in for the third time as he swings and misses at that one it's nothing in one turned on but it's wide of first and foul. And another one strikeout number 17 in the ball game as he keeps racking them up. Number 16. And it's fouled away. Right by him here, and he's set up for another strikeout here. The count to 0 and 2. Inside, as that perhaps will back him off a bit. 1 and 2. Struck him out. 18 strikeouts for him now. And that'll bring Mike Trout to the dish. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Now here's the first offering. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. On the recovery throw is in time to get the out at first. What a heads up play. So here is JT Realmuto. He's two for three and looking for more here. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Skied into straightaway right. Wisdom is there, so two pitches and two outs thus far. So now to the plate, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., two for three with a double on his line so far. First pitch of the AB on its way. Swing and a miss at a changeup that has him all kinds of goofed up at the plate. Oh, I just don't understand that swing. The first two guys made outs on just one pitch. What are they doing up there? And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Eric Sogard is going to pinch hit here to lead off the ninth. And with his club already well down, he'll just need to try and get on base here. Strike one to start the at-bat. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Swing and he pops him up. Turner into shallow left and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. The Next up, the Nico Horner, 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ball game. No balls and a strike to count. 0 and 1 count and the pitch. That's not an easy pitch to do anything with, right? 96 miles an hour in on the hands. You almost have to be looking for that pitch to be able to do anything with that. Strike three. 19 strikeouts for him now. First offering. Jake Marisnik is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1 0. Count now a ball and a strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. And this will be a called strike two. And trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. It's been more than two innings since this guy's allowed anyone to reach base. He looks pretty unbeatable on the bump right now. Digging in next will be Chris Bryant as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Swing and a miss. Blew it right by him at 96. It's a ball and a strike. And he fouls this one off. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, we had two spring training division teams going at it in this one. Pretty much an even matchup on paper, but in the end, these guys come out on top and get a well-earned victory. And tonight's comes to a conclusion. Six to one, the final. Pittsburgh wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Roy Oswalt gets the W on the mound. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com. They left three men on base.